Mindwalkers now is our next game here. Uh, Mindwalkers is a card game, uh, which I'll just go ahead and read really quick. In Mindwalkers, players act as Magi, 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 uh, of the ruling council of mercy, benevolent protectors of the human realm. What distinguishes them from the common populace is their ability to hijack the minds of others, known as mindwalking, and force their opponents to do their bidding. The origin is a mystical energy source critical to maintaining the flow of magical energy and has been damaged. Loyalists of the council must restore it to return order to society and avoid catastrophe. No one or more players secretly act as the fallen, which will be attempting to foil their plans. A variety of third party characters bring their own agendas to the table, similar to games like Shadowhunters. Uh, can you see through the mirage and deceit and become the master of manipulation or will you become an unwitting uh, puppet in your, own, uh, in your own game or your opponent's game? And in Mindwalkers, nothing is as it seems. It has a four to eight player game, uh, 12 and up, and it runs about 60 minutes. Maybe a little quicker in a four player uh, variant. Uh, everybody's going to start with one of these handy dandy dry erase pens, which are very nice. I like dry erase pens. Probably what I'm going to include in my game uh, at some point here <laughs> in the future as we continue. All my games coming along. I got some new artwork to show you guys soon on Discord. Um, okay, so we have our identity cards here. And everybody can choose their color. Alicia's going to be blue, I imagine. Oh, yeah. So Yay. You have three mind walk cards of your color, which are blue. Caleb, what color? Callie? Quick, I'll quick. be purple. Purple. All right, Caleb? Uh, green. All right, green. And I will pick the most best color of all. Orange. Everybody there, likes orange. There's a, like an indigo color. No, blue is definitely better. Orange is the best color in the world, OK? Everybody agrees. All right, I'm going to take out these cards here. It's only because you're wearing orange. That's right. Orange is also the channel's, like, whatever, like, mascot, our little fireball guy. <laughs> I've got our day counter. I'm going to have our locations that we're going to drop out here on our first player marker, which I guess I'll just go first. Oh, I remember playing this. There you go. Uh, this is going to have the Court of Golkan, which is an evil one, I believe. Yeah, it's the one where you can banish players. You have the origin there. Then you're going to have the it's next not evil powerful if you're ones. banishing the evil That's ones. That's true. The Sanctuary and the Cavern. I'll throw out the Council of Mercy here in the Bazaar. And then we're going to have the Sanctum and the Chamber. And I remember who the evil one was last time. And now I'm going to give you guys all your spe special unique meeples. Here's a blue one for Alicia. Caleb's going to get the green one. The purple one's going to Callie. And I will get the orange one. We won't use the rest of these cute little meeples. All so right. I'll put them back in the box. We need a day token. Give, yeah, well, I, guy, I just did the review for this game. I'm going to kick on the you remember. channel. Everything. Yeah, <laughs> all I, got, right. I got it going on as far as I... Well, you can, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm almost positive. My banish tokens. And then I'm going to have... These little seals, which are these are these are energy tokens, which will go on the origin here. We got these seals, which will go one on the cavern, one on the sanctuary, one on the court, and one on the origin. You can't visit there no. until you visit the, the time chamber. Oh, the time chamber. Oh, okay, so it's not the origin. Oops. Uh oh, I have to correct something in the in the <laughs> review then. And then we have our little time marker on the round one uh, day phase. Yeah. Okay. Everybody's going to get a character. Everybody want to play with characters? That is kind of an option in the game. Uh, we don't have to, though. I, I, think, I think they're fun and they're yeah, pretty easy to play. add something unique to the game. Okay. And we're also going to start with a certain number of cards in our hand. How many is it? It, uh, it's just the Three random number. cards from the deck. Yeah, there we go. I'm always good at remembering games. I think most people probably like that as well. I can remember the games and how they were played, but the setup is always what I forget about. Like, what is the exact setup? How many setup? cards you start with? Yeah. And where did it certain things start? One of the things in the review I forgot to mention was I actually would like to see a random card from the deck added to the origin vote. So mm. one player, each of us get to drop a card down to try and get to four energy. And then there's one from the deck, which kind of hides so players who are not evil. perfect information yeah. either. Yeah. A lot of games do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, three of these cards each. Three, three, three. Thank you. And three. These cards are going to be mana, and they're also going to be special actions as well. And then I made the identity deck. We have, in a four-player game, there'll be three council, one fallen, and then one third party that could be the hawk or the hunter. We don't know. 
Yeah. So that's nice that you don't know what that third party character is. All right, I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, and from those five, we'll each get a four. One, right? Uh -huh. We'll shuffle it and deal at one. Okay, I'll throw the girls and then I'll say the names. It's going to be a girl or a guy, Alicia? Um, can I have a blue one? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Paletti. Okay. Active ability is true colors. At the start of the fourth day, you may peek at the undrawn identity card and you may swap it with your own. Wow, that's mm. nice. Callie, uh, maybe Selena. She's pretty. Sure. Uh, Caleb, what do you want? I don't care. How about um, you? Look, like you're a wizard. Iron Will. You're Therian. I'm a wizard. Yeah, sure. And I'll just pick somebody <laughs> random. I get. You're a wizard, you're a wizard Harry. Harry. You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> I'll be Elica. Okay. Uh, first player marker will go with me. I've got my gameplay progress and my character with me. I've got my little token, yeah. which I'll just put on my character. And my three cards that we'll start with in the game, and then the three mind walk cards, which we can just set aside for right now. We're not going to be using them all of that um, uh, just currently as it stands. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and. Uh, all right, I'm going to explain what the identities are before we shuffle them, deal them out. Okay, and so, I'll go ahead and take us to the top down mode so you can actually see what the game looks like now. Mm -hmm. Although you can kind see, of see it as, yeah. as it stands here, which is nice. All right, we have the council who are members who must restore the origin and stabilize the realm before disaster strikes. So they want to accumulate four energy tokens here at the origin. And there we have three council members in this pot, in this deck here. Then there's going to be one, the fallen. So they must ensure the origin remains broken and does not um, get the energy tokens. So to win, they have to reach the end of the fifth day with no other identities meeting their win condition. Now for the final uh, identity in the deck, we have one of two choices. Either the hawk, who believes, um, wants to keep the realm on the brink of war. To win, they have to reach the end of the fifth day with at least two energy tokens at the origin and an equal number, number of council and fallen players remaining. So they have to, as well, make sure know who everyone is pretty much thank you or Alex, for the compliment <laughs> then or it could be the hunter although allied with the council uh they just want to purify the ruling party they have to reach the end of the fifth day with all fallen players banished and at least one council member remaining oh wow okay so they could win with the council it looks like. Okay. Yeah, all three can win their own. But they, they, they win their own. There's three ways the game is going to end. It's going to get to the fifth day, in which case the council will likely win. One of the victory conditions from the third party wins. Or if there's only um, one person remaining and it's yeah. not banished, that identity. Well, we identity. get to the end here and no one wins. It's the fallen. The right, fallen. right, right. Okay. So the council will win at the end or the fallen or there's a third party that can win. And mm -hmm. if there's, everyone is banished except for one player, that player's entire party wins. Yeah. So banishing a player can be, you know, good even if they're on your own team. Oof. All right. Okay. Will you... Shuffle these guys yeah. out and I'll deal, deal them out. Yep. All right. So we got five here. Um, but Alicia's a special. She, at the end of the fourth day, or the beginning of the fourth day, start of the fourth day, she can actually look at the hidden one that we didn't actually deal out and choose to switch. It's awesome. pretty cool. Yeah, another, even if you don't switch, it gives you good information. There you go. Thank you. There you go. And now we'll secretly look at so our identities. I'm going to take identities. this card and I'll hide it under the box over here. All right. So we'll go ahead and talk about our characters and their passive abilities and or active abilities. So the first thing is I'm Elica. My passive ability is Plurocrat. Uh, my bizarre action becomes look at a player's hand and take up to four of their cards, then give them one less in return. Uh, so instead of the bizarre, which normally says look at a player's hand and take two of their cards, then give them the same number in return, I'm actually going to get take look at four and return three. So I have a strong bizarre ability. All right, Alicia, like we said before, is at the beginning of day four. She can actually take this card and choose it as opposed to what she has. Um, and you can hide that like as a secret under the table. Uh, Alicia is, uh, Alicia, Callie is Selena, and she? Uh, I could skip my card draw to retrieve a mana and a non-mana card from the discard pile instead. Nice, nice. Okay. And Caleb? Uh, Therian? Uh-huh. 
uh, ability is passive, iron will. During other players' turns, your player token is considered a seal token. Your player token is considered a seal token. Okay, so when you go to a location, no one else can uh, venture there while you're there. So you're kind of like a lone member. So if you're here on the Sanctum, somebody can't just visit here. Seals have to be removed uh, from the Council of Mercy, and you have to pay mana in order to do so. Mm -hmm. But I'm like guessing that no one field. can remove you yeah, as a seal. Yeah. So. More like a void or a yeah. walking around. Make sure you look at the cards in your hand. Most of them will be mana. Some of them might be abilities. On your turn, uh, you're going to go through a day phase, and uh, every else will do that as well. Then we'll all go through the night phase. On the day phase, you're going to review any mind walks you've received. In the first day, no one received the mind walks. So we're going to skip that. Then we're going to draw two cards. So I'll start. I'll draw two cards from this deck here. Uh, then I can go ahead and visit a location with my player token. When I visit a location, like for instance, if I go to the Council of Mercy, I can choose uh, to do one of the abilities, or if I might have a passive, like um, for instance these guys here, or it might be a vote, which is the court and the origin. This basically, this, this ability here, is going to banish players. Mm -hmm. This is going to add energy tokens to the origin, which is how most players are going to win the game. Uh, the sancta, the sanctuary is whenever players, uh, other players cannot target you with a card effect, uh, bazaar or the court of Garl Khan, and must pay one mana in order to give you mind walks. So that makes you pretty powerful, pretty protected. Uh, the cavern is whenever a chamber vote is declared, you can choose to go up one or down one on the vote. So when we need four tokens of energy, four mana um, or more to pass that vote, mm -hmm. maybe you want to succeed. So you'll say, okay, instead of four, we need three now, or instead of four, we need five. Yeah. Uh, the bazaar says look at a player's hand and take up to two of their cards, then give them the same number in return. This lets you take the first player marker, which is going to let you go first at the beginning of every day phase, and the sanctum lets you draw two cards from the deck and reveal them uh, to all players and then add them to your hand. Now we can't go on the time chamber, we can't go on the cavern, and we can't go on the court of Garkon or the sanctuary until we remove things from there. Uh, I have to look at my identity first. I'm exactly what I thought I was, uh -huh. the good guys. Uh -huh. I am the council, and so this is a great move for me. I'm going to spend two mana. This is my mana, and the mana looks like this here, little mana symbols. There are manas that are negative one, which are dark ones. The blue ones are plus one, and then the red ones are plus two. Pay two mana, add a seal token to any other location, or I can remove a seal token, and I can enter that location immediately. So I will remove the cavern which is then going to let me move there. And it says whenever a chamber vote is declared, I can choose to make it up or down one as far as difficulty. So I went ahead and moved. Uh, I can play any cards I want from my hand, and then I discard until I have only seven cards in hand. So let me see what I have here. Destroy another player forever. <laughs> yeah, <all right. laughs> uh, I'm not going to play any cards, so I'm done. Pretty simple. Draw two? Draw two. Okay, I'm gonna go here. Okay, you're gonna go to the origin. Now, when you go to the origin, you get to choose two other players to go with you. Then, you and those two players are gonna donate one card from their hand. Mm -hmm. Normally, it'll be mana, but it doesn't have to be. You can put any card you want in there. If you put a dark mana, minus one. If you put a mana, plus one. If you put a super mana, it's plus two. And any other card is nothing. So if I put a card that has text on it, for instance, like Manic, uh, manic Abandon, uh, this card is going to be worth zero for the vote. Uh, when we put one in, it'll be ran uh, secret, and you'll shuffle them up randomly. So I'll be like, OK, I'm going to put my plus two in, or my plus one in, or my negative one in. And you'll take those cards, you'll shuffle them all together, and then you will reveal them one at a time, make it suspenseful. Yeah. If we can hit that threshold of four energy, or three slash five, whatever, depending on what I choose, we'll put a token on here. If we don't, then we fail. If we hit zero mana or less, meaning we all put nothing in or negatives in, then we're going to remove an energy token from that location. Ooh. Yeah, it's dangerous. So go ahead and choose the players for your team. You and Caleb. <laughs> Not me. Okay. <laughs> I will put this wonderful plus five in. Um, whenever a chamber vote is de uh, declared, I have yeah, to yeah. choose to raise or lower. I'm going to yeah. lower the, lower it. So from four, I want to go to three. Okay. So I'm going to put that in for you. Okay, you take those cards, shuffle them up in so everybody can see them. 
And there you go. All right, make sure it's all good so that you don't know which one. Okay, mine's still in the middle. Okay, now it's in the top. <laughs> now it's still in the top, now it's in the bottom. Okay, it's good. Okay, so we have a two, a two, and a vault of Ooh, avarice. Uh, that one is a zero, so we're going to get two and two, which is four, which is enough to pass, because I said it was for Yay. three. We would have still passed even if I didn't make it go minus one. We would have failed if I tried to increase it. So we're going to add a seal. Someone right. is sus. Seal That's right. We got a seal. Energy up. token. Okay. All right. It's Caleb. I'm the good guy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I Someone said, I said, I said plus two. The first thing I said was plus two. That's so what you always say, Michael. Obviously, <laughs> I want. Draw two cards. Great. Ooh. Maybe secretly Alicia's the sus one. <laughs> Tried to make us fail it, and we put in the good ones. <laughs> oh, wow. I guess I'm going to have to try next time. I'll put <laughs> Callie in there and see if she's sus, too. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, it's po it is possible that you could be, like, trying to help and throw so, us in the, throw, one, throw one of us in the bus, Remind right? me of the artifact card. Do you have to put yeah. them in front of you? Uh, yes. they're when you acted. They're, okay. Yeah, you play them from your hand. They're active abilities. Okay. Some, I don't I know what they all do. I haven't seen all of them in the deck. There's a lot of cards in this game. Yeah. But I'm saying three. that I will find out who's sus. Oh. Uh, will you? Right. Yes. Oh, yeah? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know about that. It's hard to find the sus when you're the sus. I know. I'm afraid people <laughs> won't have enough cards left for stuff. I have two cards left. Yeah. I have four. Are you trying to take cards for, or? For voting, I mean. I've still got plenty of plus twos. That's all I got. <laughs> I need just five plus twos. All right, let's go there. We go to the origin. So, um, I think. Can I see the rules, please? Yeah. And you get to choose who you'd like, obviously. Yeah, I think it should be Michael and Alicia. Okay. I think Caleb is the one who sucks. Well, why do you think that? Why me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't because have any more double mana, though. I only have the regular <laughs> kind. Well. I have right. double, triple, quadruple. And Michael can make it. Well, we'll see what he chooses. Okay, so if we have no... We have to play a card from our hand. If we don't have any cards in hand, our vote is forfeit. So we just okay. can't put cards in. Mm. So when you dump, we dump too many cards, that's just it. So sorry, I declare that we're voting. Michael, you have to declare if it's up or down. Uh, I'm going to declare it going up, well, down. <laughs> I scared you! <laughs> and now, now I'm choosing Michael and Alicia. And we place the cards in front. Okay. Alright, take them. Don't, 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 don't peek! I've run out of cards now. You guys have sucked all my mana. Um, well, especially that dark <laughs> How mana. How good there. are you guys? That's a we'll dark mana in there. So you are the evil one. No. A little, little, little mana. A little, little mana. Wow. And four. Four. That's all enough. Right. Another energy up on the origin. Wait, wait, wait. One of us is a third party, though, and one of us yeah. is fallen. That means there's only two good guys. What? Yeah, isn't it yeah, two, good only guys two good guys? Fallen? Oh no, 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 we don't know. We don't know. We could have three this, counts. Yeah, that's this, what I mean. This could be the fallen or the bad guys. So we yeah. could have two three good guys, two third parties, and a bad guy. <laughs> okay, and I can play. Right? Is that what it is, Callie? Two good guys, two third parties, and a bad guy? Um, three good guys, one bad guy, and two third parties. What? That's that's six, six people. We have four here. Sorry. Three, three, one, three, one, and one. one. Yeah. Three, one, one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, the the one was a choice. Of so we two. could have three good guys currently. Yeah, correct. Oh, I I'm see. I'm gonna play a card. Yeah, three, one, one. And here we go. Oh, the that costs yep. two. Okay, I'm gonna play the Vault of Avarice. Draw three cards face up. Keep one, then give two, one each to your next two players. Hopefully I can get Alicia and I uh, some good my, stuff. My next game theory, Gary, that, uh, right now I'm, I'm through going through the artwork and graphic design, so I'll be posting some pictures of the art on um, on Discord this week. Oh. I'm just waiting on some of our box art. It looks really good, though. Like I, I, think, I think people are going to really dig the artwork. Okay. I think I'll give... So we have a Soul Walker orb. Pay five mana to cover another player's identity card with this card. That's a lot of mana, though. Uh huh. Uh, then council become fallen, and vice versa, but third party have no effect. 
You could give yep. that to Caleb. Oh, it changes well, the players. Well, you have to. I have to give the card to someone first. I'm not giving yeah. that to Caleb. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, but I mean, I mean, play it on him. Oh, okay. Is yeah. what I meant. Yeah. Not give it to him. I'll give it to you if you want to play it on. Him. Okay. And then I'll take the two mana, and I have to give Caleb something. There's only good stuff. There you go. Why do you automatically assume that I'm wow, the bad that's one? Someone playing well, really well, based on <laughs> yeah. the fact that we had the three of us put in mana. Some wording could be nice too. This is your your next two players. Is that the people who are next to you, or the next two players in turn order? I'm not too certain. Uh, but what if I didn't have any mana? So how could you blame me? It's true. So I, I play my true. artifacts out. Or do I have to play them to activate? Sorry. Let me see it. Let me read it. But I could activate it later. Um, or do I have to activate it when I play it? That's a good question. I think and you I pay like two and then you put it out and that's what it, it lasts uh, for. Ah, and that's when it's active. Okay. Yes. Gotcha. That makes sense. Caleb, so you're saying you Ooh. wouldn't want to switch sides. <laughs> what? Is that what you're saying? Maybe there's no bad guy. Maybe there's a third player and three good guys. Okay, I'll Maybe do... Maybe you're all bad. I think you're right. I'll do my two mana. To That's play, not even possible. To place out the tower. Artifacts require an upfront mana cost before they can be used. Once you activate them, they remain face up until they're stolen or for the rest of the game. Okay. This one uh, cost to activate two mana. Pay two mana. Ignore yep. the effects of seal tokens. Own all three active Shano's cards to achieve... An instant team win. Yeah. So if you get all three of those, you win. And also, you can just walk on spaces that normally you couldn't walk on. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, Caleb. The Sanctum. Draw two cards from the deck. Well, first you draw two cards. Oh, yeah. You draw two cards to start. And then you're going to draw two cards from the deck and reveal them to all players. Sand uh, I'll read them. One is move your player token to an unsealed silver location. And the other one is... It costs two, it's an artifact that costs two mana. It says during your turn, you can move one seal token to a different location other than Council of Mercy. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, so you moved, you drew two cards. You can play any cards you want, and then you just card down to seven. If you have any cards you'd like to play. And then after that, we're going to go straight to the uh, night phase. Remember two with your mind walk cards? It tells you in the round when you when it when it will happen. You, so you can, can tell choose... people things to do in the future rounds. Yes. Mm. Caleb, you gonna play a card or no? Um No. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna go to the night phase now. Everybody's taking their turn in the day phase. Mm -hmm. So move oh, go ahead and move that to the night phase. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our paper or our, our card our mind walk card and our dry erase marker and we're going to write down a mind walk we choose a player we're going to give it to after we do so we do this all simultaneously we make only do one action though um and if i do something like go to sanctum i you can't tell them to like go to sanctum take the two cards and then play those two cards that's multiple actions required mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, going, going someplace and doing something there is one action, though, right? What? Going someplace and doing an action yeah, there maybe is two, one. Maybe two, yeah. Wait, um, wait, wait on giving them out. I, I don't think you can... It says draw two cards from the deck and reveal them. Uh, this one you just... There's no it. choice there, but yeah. some of them have choice. Oh, like go like here vote up or down. and then... Uh, yeah, you yeah. can do that, yes. Yeah. If there is a vote called... You have to vote mm -hmm. down or whatever, then yeah. And we have to be specific, right? In what we're yeah, writing. specific enough to where they understand what you're saying. If they yeah. can't figure it out, my, the new rule for the stream is oh, we're just going to erase the card and ignore it. So if, okay. they, if it doesn't make sense, then it's not going to count. I'm going to go ahead and give this mind walk to Callie. Okay. This marker doesn't work. At all? Like, no, it's like all weird. Okay. All right. You write yours down, Alicia? Yeah. Who did you, you give it to? Callie. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> She's getting lots of free stuff. Aren't we supposed to give them out in order? Because uh, each player can only get one? No. No, you can have as many people. Okay. can give them out as many as they want, yeah. 
I mean, give it, it says give it down in order, yes. I, I okay. would be first player, though. And then yeah. she gave you one, so now it's you. Okay. Okay. All right, and Caleb's finishing writing his up. It's kind of like a like a uh, mind controlling the players. Yeah. Who oh, who are you gonna give it to? <laughs> you automatically were gonna get it. Yeah, I was just assuming. <laughs> who doesn't have a card? Michael. <laughs> what is this? That's your hand. That's my hand. Okay. <laughs> Me? I got two cards. What? If it doesn't say around, then it's whatever the next round. Okay. All right, uh, we. This is funny that you gave me that. <laughs> All right, so we, we finished these. Yeah. These are gonna go. We're gonna go to day phase two, um, and I'm gonna still start because I still have the first player marker because no one went to the time chamber yet. Uh, well, I am going to go to the sanctum after I draw two cards, and I'm gonna reveal the two cards I drew, which is mana and a tooth demon, which is take possession of a player's face up artifact and then pay them. It's stated activation cost. Um, do we always reveal it? Or uh, if you go to the Sanctum, yes. Oh. You draw two for your turn, and then you move. And I moved here, which makes me draw two cards and reveal them to all players, and then add them to my hand. Oh. Make sense? Yep. Cool. Uh, and my turn is... Oh, I got this too. Oof. Oof. I'm done. Nothing mm -hmm. else. All right. I draw two. Yep. Oh, snap. I need more money. <laughs> <laughs> need more mana, yeah. That's why Michael went to get cards, I'm sure. Yep. Unless he's suspect. <laughs> <laughs> you drew your cards? Yeah, she drew cards. Okay. Yeah. Now she's got to move. I'm trying to see if anything can give me money, but it doesn't. So I'm going to draw two cards. The cards you're drawing are a mana two and a mana one. Oh, so great. So a mana two and a mana one. Okay. And now you can play any cards in hand or pass. And you can have seven, one, two, three. You can have four, seventh into your turn, yes. Five, six, seven. Yeah, eight. max cards is seven. Any card you don't want, or if you get a card you can play, perhaps. I'm going to. Wait, if I was to play this, move it to an unsealed. Location. Yeah, you go to one of these places. You go to the cavern. Basically. Oh, okay. So you can increase or decrease the vote. Sure, I'll do that. Okay. I decrease the. Oh, wait. wait I can't there's no vote yet. Yeah, no. Okay. It's the only when the vote happens. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's it. Callie's turn. Okay. Two cards. There you go. What'd you get? Good. Good cards? Wow. Well, a little bit. A little bit good? Just moderately good? Yeah. Okay. Now I move, and you can't go to the same location, right? Yeah. You gotta move. Oh, I have to move. Um, I don't know if you have to. If you have to move, I don't think you do actually. Um. You can also remain in an unsealed location. Yeah. Okay. It says or I remain. I feel like. I feel like I need to move too, though. Okay, then move. Okay. Sanctum, yep. you're going to get two manas. Nice. Just blue ones. Nice. Then I can play my Mercy of Shanos. I've got two of the three artifacts. So this is cost activate Once one Once a mana. day, you can pay three mana to prevent or oh, reverse, reverse a banish. banish. Then the other one re ignores all seal tokens, so you can just go on locations, including Caleb's. Uh, okay. Actually, speaking of Caleb's, I don't think... Wait, where is your character, Caleb? It's here, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh. He, technically, we can oh, run we on his space. Oh, we can't go there. That's uh -oh. already too late. Okay. 
Yeah, but you know, you're yeah. not, normally we're not supposed gotta to. Got to remember your ability. Yeah, because I'm not going to be able to remember your ability. Because you count as a seal token. Yeah, I his, didn't think of that. His until, character? Yeah, yeah, his character. I didn't um, think of that. I blocked the location for other people. <laughs> okay. okay. Oops. Uh, I'm not playing any other cards, and I have four cards. Go ahead. I guess you can banish him if he counts as a seal. He would just return back to his his board. What? Wait, what? Well, I mean, if he's the bad guy, for instance, yeah. and he wanted to go to the origin, mm-hmm. and he could make us lose by just never letting us cast a vote. I so can't banish the, him. I can prevent a banish. No, what I'm saying is he counts as a seal token. Oh. Follow me on the logic here. He counts as a seal token, mm-hmm. and seal tokens mean we can't go on his space. Are you following yeah. me? Yeah. If he goes yeah. on the... Well, you're just not saying No, it, this so. is the energy token. He's the guy. I feel like I'm, like... But you're, losing you're my mind. About. If Caleb, you're mm-hmm. green, right? Mm-hmm. If he was here, how are we going to go there to vote? Mm. Yeah? You follow and then me I now? can go there. Okay. Yes, you yeah. can go there. Yeah. So, but I'm guessing, my thing is, I'm guessing he counts as a seal token, which means we could probably banish, remove him from here mm-hmm. so that way somebody else can go here. Oh, I see. You know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. Okay, um, but he's not there. He's over here. All right, is your turn done? Yes, I've said that. Okay. Caleb draws two cards. There you go. Okay, you can pay two mana and remove a seal token, or you can pay two mana and add a seal token. And you can go to any location you want. Okay, removing from the time chamber. And uh, you can play any cards Mm -hmm. you'd like from your hand. And you go there right away. Yep. And you take the first player. Um, okay. Nothing? Um, that's it. How many cards do you have in your hand? Good question. <laughs> one too many. Okay, you discard one then if yep. you don't want to play it. All right, uh, that's the end of the round. Uh, Everybody's uh, uh, gone, so we'll go to Night Phase, and we'll write up another Mind Walk. Get rid of this. You a special mind walk, Alicia. It's gonna be real good. All right. And then after this, Caleb's gonna be the first player. For me? Oh, thank you. Okay, and just to let everybody know, the council vote is the same as the origin vote. You each you choose a player and you give them one. Uh, they each give you one. Everybody gives you one card. Okay, everybody get a card. Bless you. Yes. Okay, day phase three. All right, Caleb, you start. I'm going to go to the cavern and increase the vote by one. Well, you don't, you're not, not yet, you're not. So I moved and I can play a card? Uh, you can yeah. play as many cards as you want. And you just go down to seven. Any cards you want to play? Okay. Um, yes, I'll play this. Okay. It's an artifact. During your turn, you can move one seal token to a different location. Okay. It costs two mana. Yeah, and then you just pay. You think artifact stays. Okay. And this is going to be discarded, the mana. And uh, what does it say on the bottom of it? Other than Council of Mercy. Okay. So you can't choose this one then. Okay. Blocking the oh, first player. Oh, <laughs> that's a good move. <laughs> okay, uh, that's my turn now, right? Is there any, well, how many cards in your hand? Is there any more cards you want to play? Yes. Okay. I'm going to play a spell. Okay. Move your player token to an unsealed silver location. Uh-huh. So you don't want to do the the vote thing then if need be. Okay. So sanctuary. Other players cannot target. So I can't mess with you in any way. Okay. Unless you pay a mana. Yeah. Right. For mind walk. Uh, my turn. I'm going to draw two cards. All right. I'm going to check and see what I got. 
Mm. Oh, nice. I'll play Orb of Clarity. It's going to cost me one mana to do so. And it says that whenever a chamber vote at the origin is declared, I can increase the passing threshold by two mana. And if it passes, I get an extra energy token uh -huh. on that space. So it's going to be more challenging to do. But like, let's say Alicia's there, she re so it's four. She reduces it by one, and then I increase it by two. If everybody plays a two, then we pass and we get two energy tokens on there and win. Or mm. maybe it's a card that just makes us more likely to lose if I choose to use it. Um, yeah. Oh, I have to move too, I guess. I am orange. I forgot I don't want to move. I'm going to go to the bazaar, I think. Yes, the bazaar. I'm going to look at four cards from Caleb's hand and give you back three. Uh, you have to pay... Wait, I thought you couldn't oh, do that. Oh, I can't do the bazaar either on you. Oh. Dang, I can't do the... Uh, I guess I'll stay here, actually, and I'll just draw two more cards. And I got two double manas. Oh, oh tasty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I don't think I have anything else to play. Mm, no. Okay, go ahead. One, two, Draw three, two four, cards. five, six, seven mana total, or seven cards total. Yeah, good. Hmm. All right. I would like to go to the vote, but I'm the one that's in the cavern. You can stay there. I think Callie would probably go to the origin. Okay. Then I'll stay there, but then now I have too many cards. I have to either play two or get rid of two. Yeah, if you can play them, they're going to help us or help yourself in some way. Then probably should do that. Mm. You going to read all your cards now at this no, point? No, I did. I did. <laughs> you only drew two cards. <laughs> I know, but and you think what you know what people are going to do? But the mind lock kind of throw a wrench in it, so you never I know, know what's going to happen. I wasn't like able to do it. Yeah. What's this one? Target a player, then at the end of the day, both players wager any number of cards and turn them face up. Banish the one with less mana. So you can actually make a player... Banish with that. I can't, though, without because having Caleb is on that. Oh, you want to get Caleb. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What did I do? I haven't done anything Another one to you is guys. Play when a chamber vote is declared. <laughs> Choose an additional participant for this vote and increase the missing threshold by one. Oof. Okay. Okay. Yep. My turn. You get to move two, two cards. There's double manas for you. You're welcome. And I go here. No. I go but. there. Okay. Uh, yeah. Man, why didn't you say something? <laughs> <laughs> I told you that people have... There's stuff that happened. And you get to but choose. But you could have you could have told me. I don't huh? I don't choose yet. That's you could have told me. Uh yeah, well, you're not supposed to talk about them. Banisher. No. Michael, I'm good. Go ahead. I have to go there. Um then Why didn't you say I though? did. No, you didn't. Well, we were talking I didn't know about, if I, I can. wanted to go to the vote I didn't and then know I said, I but then I have to leave this. You can, yeah, you I can said, say I said don't. Sometimes people have things that mind walk. You could have said okay. don't go there. Go to the origin instead. Well, go ahead. Just take okay. your turn. Okay, I'm taking my turn. Uh, I don't have no nothing, no cards to play. I have six cards. I'm good. I um yeah, go ahead. As a, as, as a way as well when playing, you can be like, no, I don't want to go to the origin, Michael. So I've been like, oh, she's going to go to the origin. And then she, you can be like, oh, I don't want to go. I want to go to the cavern instead. Yeah. As a way to, like, convince her to go. I well, guess, go ahead. it's the night phase now. I felt like so. I couldn't talk about it. But you could have at least told me. Sure, you can. To you, not, can all, you can. You yeah. can. You can say anything you want about okay. the cards because you can be lying be like, about being yeah, mind walked. Yeah. So I can be like, oh, I had to. I, I I had to go here and seal up the chamber to uh -huh. to block the first player token, which yeah. I currently have right now. It's a damn lie, but you can say it. All right. Uh, night it phase. is night phase. Okay, if we want to affect Caleb with a card, we have to pay one mana. Hmm. 
Oh, you gave to who? To Alicia. Technically, this card should just say ignore uh, one, no, because yeah, I can only do one action. Yeah, you yeah. can only do one thing. Or... Did you give them all away? Yep. Did you pay a mana for Caleb? Yep. Okay, Caleb starts. Did you draw two cards? All right, and we're on day phase four. Oh, also at the beginning of day phase four, um, Elite, Alette, triggers. Uh, start of the day four phase, you can peek at the unknown identity, mm -hmm. and you can swap if you'd like. Oh, you can you, you can secretly like you take both of these. Oh, put them under the table. Under the table, <laughs> and you look at them, so that way we don't know. Okay. Okay. Where are you going? The origin. Okay. Uh, initiate a vote. Oh, okay. And Who's who would you like you? to vote with you? Hmm. Um. Cowling and my goal. Okay. Okay. Uh, whenever votes called, blue and pink or purple will decide. Uh, Alicia, up or down? Down. Callie, up or down? Up. Okay. Yeah, she is pure evil then. Mm-hmm. So it's gonna be it's gonna be the cost is four. How many of each thing is there? There's there's two good, two bad, and one uh, third party. No, it's three good, one bad, one third party. Mm -hmm. Three good, one bad, one third party. Okay. Wait, I'm playing a spell. After, before you put uh, you have cards, to do your location. Oh. Before okay. you put cards over to me for the vote. Before You're, you do that. So when we select them, but before we yeah. push them to you. Yes. Okay. Um. Play during any chamber vote. Before the participants combine their votes, swap one of the votes with a card from your hand. Okay. okay. Now you still have to put a card in too, though. Yes. Okay. I'm glad I put that one in then. Okay. All right, and reveal them. We need four. Uh, it's we're down negative, negative one. one. Negative one. <laughs> negative one. We lose an energy from the origin. And, and I'm going to banish Kelly on my turn. So, uh, you wait, did you play any other cards in your turn? You want to like to do? I wasn't. I was. I could have stopped that, but I didn't see a need to. Um, no. All right. Yeah, she lied. She didn't actually do my mind. My mind. Mm -hmm. I did. No, you didn't. I told you to go to the origin last round. And you could have I said did, something actually. when I was talking. Well, no, she's not. She's, I was, she's evil. She's not, she's not going to tell you. Well, I was saying I'm not um, actually evil. I know, but that's one, why two. I'm saying you're so a third party. I get uh, two cards on my turn. Hmm. And I'm going to move to the, Merce, the Council of Mercy. I'll pay two mana, and I'll take myself to the court. And I'm going to vote on Callie. Okay. Um... I'm going to choose Caleb and Alicia. I don't know how we're going to do this, though. We're, we're, run, we're running too late now. If they're both bad, they're both not going to help us. I don't mm -hmm. know how we're going to get the energy. All right, you got a card each for me? 
We'll have to figure it out, I guess. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry. Okay. Is there a card you want to play? Yeah. Go ahead. Um, but I need to know which card gave. Never mind. Which I card I gave? Yeah. I, I know what card I gave. Okay. It's the surprise witness. Are you doing the vote before the participants uh, chamber vote? Yeah. Uh, no, this is. Oh. Oh wait. Okay. Okay, there are, it is, is a chamber. It? Vote. Okay, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. The, the, the player can initiate a chamber vote. Okay. And what does it say? Swap a card. But you just. Um, uh, I'm gonna counterspell that. Okay. And I'm also gonna pay one mana from my hand, and I'm gonna steal that card with Absorb Magic. So what it says is, play when another player casts a spell, negate its effect, oh, and pay two mana. Sorry, don't worry, I've got plenty. And I can steal the card to my hand. All right. And these are the cards? Mm -hmm. There's no other cards that need to be played now, right? No. All right. Two, three, five. Banished! Um, when you get banished, you're going to get one of these little guys here. Now, you're not out of the game or anything. No. How banishment works is pretty simple. Uh, you draw one less card at the start of your turn, and you can't initiate any more chamber votes. However, other players may still invite them to vote. So we can still right. invite Callie to vote, but we she cannot initiate herself. I'm going to, with my act, act, artifact, On your pay, turn. No, once per day. To prevent. I can prevent it. Prevent or reverse. Okay. So I prevent it, and I pay three mana. That's negative mana. It's one mana otherwise. Oh. What's reversing a banish mean? I guess it was all, if it was on my turn later, I could reverse it. I could wait, or I could do it prevent. But it's only one per day. I thought you could only do it on your turn. Well, yeah, I mean, why does it say prevent then? I don't know, because I was just going to go ahead and... Uh, take your artifact <laughs> and uh, it's okay I, I'm gonna t you can prevent it I guess I'll just take this and it's gonna cost me one mana to do that um, actually I don't really need this anymore you just spend all your mana I'll take this one's more valuable to me right now um geez I can't I have to save this for your turn Alicia all right I'm done Save it for my turn. Yeah, it's mana. We need to get that origin. I don't know how we're going to get the origin. They're both giving us negatives. If I have multiple things telling me to go to different locations, I just I choose one of those locations. Yeah. You do the best of your ability, yeah. Um, you should do the one that was first given to you. That was given you. to you first. Yeah. That would be my guess. This last turn? <laughs> Uh, if if it says round three, give a player or take a play, make, make, make they have to go to the cavern, and then somebody else gave them round three. The player has to go to the bazaar. Then they have to they obviously can't do both, so they have to do one. So they're going to do the they'll do the cavern instead of both. That's the only way it, it seems to make sense to me from what I recall from reading. There's like a few pages on how these work. Well, that'll be my that'll be my my in game mid ruling for it. You should do at least one, and you shouldn't get to the option to choose, so you should still be mind-controlled, so you have to just do the first one, I think. Okay. Um, this is the first one. Okay, just do it then. No, uh, remember, one, a, I, I, play, I gave you a card, mm -hmm. so that card interacts with one. Yep. So you can choose. Choose based on the second card you gave me? Yeah. I tried to give her a little bit more agency, figuring you guys would give her garbage. I don't think it'll help, though. I okay. Was... I guess I have to go here. And I have to look at Caleb's. Got a lot of cards there. Look at him. Okay. You take two. Four. Two. Right. Oh, two. No, I'm the one oh. that's four. You take two of them, and then you look at them, and then you can swap them with cards in your hand. So you don't get to keep those cards. You, when you do, but you have to give them the same number of cards back. 
My guy lets me take four and pick and keep one of them. Or take all of his cards and give him three other garbage ones I have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, did, where did you move to? Oh, the bazaar. Okay. okay. Your turn. I initiate a chamber vote on Caleb. Um, so I never told you to go to the origin? I never wrote that down in my... Nope. She's a third party <laughs> who wants the Caleb to be banished and us to be alive. That's what Callie is, and Caleb is evil. <laughs> um, so I guess it's you two that have to vote, right? Uh, you choose. I choose. You choose who you banish. You're banishing Caleb. Yeah. She doesn't. Want, oh, she wants us to live and him to be banished. Yeah, that's how she'll win. But we won't have the energy mm -hmm. to get to the four. No, if she was that character, she wouldn't have screwed us over because we could have all won. I'm pretty sure she's that character. I Otherwise, I she's some. So you're giving uh, us two. Okay. Right? We get to we get to put one in. I. All right. I'll choose, yeah, you two, I guess. I mean, you have to choose him to banish himself, right? I mean, I guess he can vote, but... If you want him to. Um, wait, yeah. Caleb and Alicia. To vanish Caleb? Yeah. Okay. Vote. And there's no pluses or minuses, it's just four. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then put those cards and shuffle them up. Shuffle. Did you put any to banish yourself? <laughs> a mana, a mana, a mana. Uh, wow, he almost got banished himself. Yeah, very close. <laughs> you didn't want to banish? Why, why would you want to banish yourself? Well, because you want to keep your other cards, maybe? Oh, uh, maybe a better card. Um, that, that's it. <laughs> Everything's just speculation on your guys' part. Now it's part. the night phase. One more mind walk. There you go. Okay. Me? Yeah. <laughs> There's so many. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, it's still Caleb that gets to go first, and we're in the last round of play. So you're going to get plus two here. Oof. You still only have one energy. Mm-hmm. And we need how many again? Uh, we're going to need four on the origin. They took away one from us. So what were you saying about mind walk cards again? If someone gave us a card that has a specific instruction for... If you understand it, follow it. If there's a one that contradicts, follow the one you were given previously. My lowest man. All right. You Caleb's could... starting, right? Did you draw your two cards? Mm -hmm. You could have also said, well, I mean, is a is a spell card a mana card? Remember, spells oh. are zero. Uh-huh. Maybe, because mana card is negative one, one or two. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you said, or you put lowest value, I guess. Yeah, lowest value card. Um, all right, Caleb. Well, yeah. move a space. Uh -huh. um, I'm going to stay there. On the origin? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, then it's my turn. And uh, then... Do you have any cards? You have seven cards in hand? I'm going to... Oh, you're still going? Initiate a vote. Oh, to... Oh, yes, since he's staying there, he's initiating a vote. So that means we can't go there now. Oh, I can. Yeah. I oh, stole hers lets me go oh. to seals. Uh -huh. You can also mm. banish him, basically. Not banish, but... No. Okay, uh, who would you like to have vote with mm -hmm. you? Um, Callie and Michael. Okay, I have one card. Uh, 
that's passes. Four. Four is enough. Okay. Uh, sadly, I was forced to play that card. <laughs> well, I didn't want to. It's the only one I have. All right, you got any cards you want to play? Um, it's a nope. poss there's still a possibility we can pull this off. I don't know okay. how. All right, I'm going to have to draw two cards here. This lets me mm -hmm. buy two. And if it passes, it gets an extra energy token. So four, yeah, we, we would need six. We need three people to put two down. There's no way we can do that. This doesn't. Hmm. Does Caleb still have protection? He doesn't anymore. Mm -mm. I'm gonna go to the bazaar, I think. Oh no, we, okay, you're at the bazaar. I'm gonna go to the bazaar and look at four cards. I'll look at, let's take, look at a player's hand, I can take up to four of them. Yeah, I thought I was supposed to look at his whole hand. Yeah, and take two instead of, of and then, looking, taking two. And then I yeah. give you three back, yes. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, because I didn't yeah. see his we whole hand. We can't read that. One, two, three back. All right. Are you able to go to the origin? Yes. You can't go to the origin. It's blocked. Oh, wait, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, it says is considered a seal yeah, token. Yeah, she can yep. pay two mana, add a seal, uh, remove this a seal token, which would be you. Yeah, but I thought you said before the game you can't remove the character. You, ha you have to be able to. Otherwise, there's no way we can win. Uh -huh. we, we literally you can't go there. It. So yeah. we have to be able to remove you. Just like in this case, I can go to a, a location that has a seal on it. I guess, or you could banish him. Yeah. yeah. No, banishing doesn't remove... Him from the it board. doesn't remove the character. No, okay. no. You just draw one less card, and you can't. Mm. You can't make a, a vote yourself. Okay. So yeah, there just has to be some way to get to that space. So it has to be a banish you, which is just a huge extra step. Um. I would need one more mana. To be able to vote with two and get rid of the seal. Are well, you gonna draw two? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm missing one card to guarantee success. I can't pay for this Orb of Clarity. You need one more mana? Well, you'll draw that though, right? Yeah. I'll have to pass and hope you can pull it, pull the win out. I have everything I need for us to succeed. Okay. But I just I'm, I'm I don't have enough. I'm missing one mana. Oh, that's a good spell. Caleb gave me all mm -hmm. the cards I needed. Okay. I paid two. Yeah. Oops, that's too many. Two okay. To go here. You're gonna banish him, so he'll ju you'll just go off the board like You're a seal. You're removing one. a seal. But at the beginning yeah. of your turn, you just go back on the board anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, now I'm initiating. It's a very high cost. <laughs> um. Did you give mm -hmm. him any mana cards? Uh, he has one. He has a, a two in his hand. Okay, because Callie doesn't have any cards. It, and okay, it doesn't matter. Um. Can you if, if you have a two in your hand, mm -hmm. we can make something happen. Okay. Okay. So. I'm All right. Voting. So you're gonna choose Caleb, yeah. yourself, and I. Mm -hmm. Is anybody going to increase or decrease the threshold? No one's at the cavern. I am going to spend two mana to power up the orb of clarity, giving the threshold plus two. So now it's six. Mm -hmm. So we need to each put in two in order for this origin to succeed. 
So I'm gonna but give you'll you, get two energy tokens if it succeeds. If we, yeah, if we succeed, we'll get it up to the threshold we need to win. Yep. I'll give you this, and then you'll give me that. I'll give her that. Uh, I'm going to play Surprise you... Witness, the card Callie gave me. I'm gonna that you stole. <laughs> that with that. And then you can take all those. Dun, dun, dun. The stars need to align again. The final moment. The final round. It's not over. You're still on. Yeah, but you still got a turn left. Yeah, but this is where it could end. Okay. Yay! Six mana. Six mana. I had a card in my hand that let me would let me move to this location, but I would have had no mana. I would I would have been down one yeah. mana card. Yeah. Okay. So I have, I can return a. A card from uh, the. That's it. The game's over. Right? No, it's not. Oh. No, no. Oh, the okay. end it has to be the. Um, is it the end of the game? I thought it was happens? instantly. You guys win. Let me check. Uh, is it? Mm. Any players' win conditions are met. Oh. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yay! <laughs> I thought it was the end of the fifth day. You know, the the bad guys the end of the fifth day. Mm -hmm. oh. oh my gosh! I had. That was stressful. I had pay two mana. Uh, to visit a second different location, so I could have moved my character over here, mm -hmm. but I would have had not. I wouldn't have had this extra mana, mm -hmm. uh, the extra two left over. Yeah, you did had me move to the cavern, and then you're like, you moved to the origin. What was the other mind walk card I gave you? A vote. I don't. I didn't have any of those. I wrote. Origin. I wrote cavern, but I meant you origin. Meant origin. There's no reason okay. I would have to go to the yeah, cavern. Yeah, yeah. Dang it. Mm -hmm. I was like, this is weird. <laughs> All right. And then a lot of them I couldn't do. <laughs> yeah, but you could have you could have said that when I was talking about it. But because I didn't know were, if I could or not. Because you were evil, you didn't I, say. Well, anything. I was not evil, but I was. I told I you you're a third party. No, yeah. but like when I, I was, was talking about debating where I was going, you could have at least put an input as to where I should go. Yeah, I needed Regardless. an equal well, number of you guys. You so. might have also not. She might have also not wanted to tell you. Where yeah, she that's was yeah. that's yeah. what I'm saying. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's uh, why I'm saying that proved that she was evil. Yeah, I wanted only two tokens here and equal number of fallen and council. So oh. I needed. That's why I wanted to reverse the banish on you, Michael. Reverse the banish. What does that mean? Like reverse? I get banished so, instead. Yeah, if we could get it zero or less. Does, when can you do that? When can you, <laughs> to prevent? No, or, no. This is the if we had voted and gotten zero mana or less. That's why I played the surprise oh, okay. witness. I was trying to get it to once. But you can pay three mana to pre prevent or reverse a banish. Though, mm -hmm. does that mean reverse it to the person who targeted you? Oh no, no. Reverse just means like later, right? Reverse it. I don't know. Oh. I was planning on getting rid of that card before I banished you, but I looked yeah. at it and I'm like, oh, well, she can only play that on her turn. I imagine. You have to do this first anyway before you play cards. I have you know, I, once per day. I don't know. I mean, I guess that makes sense. You can pay three mana as an as an instant or whatever. Yeah. I'm not sure. I, I had to take this. I had to take this one away from you so you wouldn't win the game. Yeah, as well. I never hop. got the third artifact. So you wanted to have one of us banished and yeah. only two on there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. That tricked me. You confused the heck out of me because I thought I, put, I gave you a card. I'm like, okay, I'm going to have her. She's going to be here. You're going to be here. Uh -huh. um, yeah, but that instantly gave your identity away when you did that. Well, so I told Caleb to go to the origin, but not till round five. Not, but he did it on round four. I don't know if you did that on your own or you were following my, you thought you were following my mind walk. Um... I thought, I didn't realize it said round five. Yeah, okay. I gave, I did this one. Caleb asked me to go. So to I wasn't going to reveal myself until round five. Mm. Yeah. Caleb asked me to go to the Sanctum, so I did that one. Uh, play my lowest mana card for the next vote, which was Callie. Um, this vote here on, for the second mana, I had to do that, and I only had a two mana. Yeah. I had an action card, uh -huh. but I didn't have, so lowest. I'm like, I could have played... The action card if I said is zero. lowest value, yeah, yeah, which I didn't think of it, yeah, and then that way. vote as much men as I have to banish Caleb, but this one never, it never came up mm -hmm. uh, when she played with, when she gave it to me. Wow, yeah. 
<laughs> and then we gave I gave her head of the bazaar and trade uh, trade with Caleb because I thought you had a lot of mana cards. And then I said, ignore any mind walks that affect you this round. You can yeah. only ignore one yeah, of them. Yeah, but then though. he gave me visit the sanctum, so I'm like, which one do I ignore, the bazaar or the sanctum? Yeah, you can only ignore one of them then. Yeah, yeah cause I, it's, I said all, uh, but you yeah. can't do all. This is only yeah. supposed to be for one action. So okay. my action is to have her ignore one of the actions. Mm -hmm. So that she have more choice, choice just Academy. in case that she yeah. couldn't, mm -hmm. she had, cause just in case she wouldn't be able to go. to Oh the, yeah, and then when you gave me this one, Callie, I couldn't even do it because I didn't have two mana. Um. Yeah. Unlock I guess. the. I guess. Go to the court uh -huh. and unlock it. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't have two mana. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, she wouldn't be able to. Period. She wouldn't even be able to, to do it. Mm -hmm. It would cost two mana just to do. Mm -hmm. I was trying to play team good guy at that point, so I didn't. I couldn't <laughs> yeah, have you do anything after bad. That, <laughs> after that, it was. But very this just awkward. says reach the the thing with at least two mana. You made it go from two to one. Mm -hmm. You oh. reduced it. Well, I was just thinking about the getting an equal number here and not winning. You guys, if you got you got two right away, it was all. Oh, but we had no out. cards left. Yeah, yeah, we were empty in cards. I didn't know. I was like, oh no, I got to slow him I down. thought you were the bad guy. I and thought Caleb was not. No, I knew oh, and she I told was him not to do that until the fifth round. Actually. I knew Caleb was pure evil from the beginning because <laughs> yeah. every move he made was was against like winning. <laughs> and then Callie became very sus and she wouldn't <laughs> communicate about what. It we took should the do attention off. All I did was try to send no, you guys. No, I still knew you were evil. I, I just <laughs> that made me think. Oh, Callie's the third party at that point. My goal was I. I didn't want you to think that I was evil, so I sent you to different locations to get stuff for yourselves. I thought for certain I was having you go to the origin, so that's why I thought you were like cheating or something. Like no. she's like doing something like. Like something, yeah. the way you were talking too made me not like. Yeah. Was, uh, when she was well, I didn't me, know like, if I could say it doing... was a mind walk card or yeah, not. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I didn't. Yeah. You get, the, the cards are, you, have to, you can lie as much as you want. That's, okay. I'm sitting there, I'm like, there's something well, up. I, I knew sure. I gave her a yeah. card. But you could have even talked about it without talking about I, mind walk. I did. I said, hey, sometimes mind walk cards. Make they make people do other things than you expect them to. <laughs> I, uh, what, how, what am I supposed to think of that? Like that doesn't give me any information. <laughs> I said right. I said it right after you mm. said that. I didn't hear that. I was too busy hearing you guys argue. What? <laughs> I think that if you hadn't banished Callie, my plan would have gone to fruition. I didn't banish Callie. She no, you initiated it. and then you stole her cards. So if that yeah. had not happened, you would have not won. I, I goofed by not taking her card first. I didn't think she could instantly do that, that but effect. But it was after... You have to do this first before you play cards. It was after she voted a negative oh, one, okay. and I voted negative two on all of you guys, and then you took her card. So if that whole thing didn't go down, you probably wouldn't have taken her card. But you didn't like it that she played uh, cutthroat. Um, I... No, I, I took this card. I was taking this card anyway, even when I thought she was a good guy, just in case. Because I know that she's, like, really good at lying. And so I'm like, I'm not going to give her the instant team win just in case. And she won't care if we both have it, as long as we're on the same team. <laughs> I knew Alicia was good. I was almost certain she was good for a while. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I just, it was, uh, the mind walks are so... Tricky. Yeah. yeah. It's so like they, I they think add something. That's the I think the main differentiator for this game. Oh, it is. And it Absolutely. Causes yeah. all of the conversation and the drama. Confusion drama. Yeah. Yeah, but I literally did crazy. not have mana the first round, so you made that bold assumption just out of spite. Uh, no, because you you drew four cards. You went to the sanctum. So no, like, at the very very beginning, when I only had three cards, you guys cast a vote. It wasn't my turn. I was the last player, so you guys were like, "Let's initiate a vote," and you chose me to vote with you. I didn't have any mana in my hand. Oh, you just had a. Uh, I didn't choose you. No, she did. That's what mm -hmm. I'm saying. Oh, I mean, who, you guys who knows? assumed right away that I was evil when I didn't have any mana in my hand. I did not have thrown you off. I, mm -hmm. I even told her I didn't know when we did this. I didn't know who gave what. <laughs> I knew I gave a two, and that's all the information I had. And I knew that either she was lying or she was good. That was all I, I knew. 
Um, she had, but the moves that you made after that were what moves? Very I sent sad. Michael when, to get. I when, sent Michael to get two cards. I stayed. When away you move from to the, the cabin and you're like, increase it even I before the. No, but before that, you you like when you were moving the seals around. I was like, those are seals for the fallen, <laughs> like that. That will benefit the um, fallen. You took and my. You took, you took first the first player mark people, and then from the two people it. who were like being good, Nick. <laughs> yeah. And you and then you blocked it so we couldn't get it. I'm yeah, like, that's I'm like evil move. That is really evil. I could have been. I was. I thought about being really evil and going to the origin during my first play, but I didn't do that. I went to go draw two cards. You could have. You could have held off one more round for the evilness. Uh, well, I did. I told Caleb round five. And he did it. When you did that four. up and down, you should have passed the third no, but one. You should have, I would have. I would have believed you were good all the way up. Oh, okay. I, you would. You would have. You would have had. Yeah, me. yeah. But I. I was like, oh, I did it around early. I guess you could even tell me. Right you told me to go to the cavern, Michael. You I did. Say yeah, that. I did say that. No, but you could have said that before I went <laughs> on oh, my turn. Yeah, you yeah. could have said. Yeah, I guess so. I uh, need to go because it would have benefited you. I would have yeah. actually felt like a dum dum yeah, and uh-huh. believed you more. Yeah, and I would have been like, "Oh, Callie's good. She's I, going." To I the just Cali. got confused because I have yeah, to I confused just myself. Confused about, uh, yeah, uh, the different maybe. types of. Uh, I mean, the mind walk is a, is, is going to make or break the game. You're either going to like the crazy. Use it well. Uh, yeah. I, I, this needs to be extremely house ruled too. I would mm-hmm. say like. Because there's so much to keep track of, um, I would even say specifically what they should do. You can make them go to a specific location or vote a specific way. Yeah. That should be like it. it yeah. Like too much of the extra stuff gets it just gets so like, bogged down. What did I give you again three rounds ago? I don't know. Lying about something or especially yeah. with eight players. I can Ooh, imagine this going me. crazy with imagine all one person things. has eight all of them. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. um, it's a cool game though. It's definitely a game that I've seen before. But it threw threw in a little something different. different. I mean, and it had a little pe- part and piece to like you got the different locations you like can go Shadow to. Hunter, kinda. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. a little bit of a mix of a lot of those things. Um, but really, mind walking is what's going to make or break uh, your interest or purchase for this game, which makes sense. The game is called Mind Walkers, and my my recommendation I think would be make a house rule for them. Mm-hmm. Um, use the the rule book as like a reference or like a guide as to how you can choose to do them, and then you can kind of spread them out as you play more and more. Um, and if you have a bad memory like me, it's, it makes it a lot easier if you have like, here's the four <laughs> things that you can, four types of things that you can do. Mm-hmm. So like, I don't even know. I told her she could ignore one card that she... Yeah, is that... Is that a thing I can do? I'm like, it's technically yeah, canceling so. an action and it is an action. It would make her do that action. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know, but it's yeah, not like a cool other thing, thing to do. Yeah, other you do, like, uh, lie, lie about your identity right <laughs> or something yeah yeah <laughs> make them say something them i don't know if you can do that the, yeah i don't uh, why, know why i think not? that was an example in there you i think so yeah oh, okay. there is because like, it, it's it's Mm, help what do I write when it, so it says we want mind walk to be as an open ended as possible mm-hmm. which is like okay you know it's a <laughs> lot uh, w- what to write is up to your imagination the specific game state you're in uh, common council commands including vote favorably at the origin and banish to suspected members um, yeah can I mind walk someone to unseal a location uh, of the mercy then enter the location using its effect in a certain way no you can you can tell them to unseal it what they do after you can't so you get one one thing that they do. Yeah, you can't yeah. combo is all I've gathered from this. Yeah. Uh, commands that you cannot perform legally are considered invalid and can be ignored. Below are three separate examples. Visit the ch- time chamber and make me go first. Uh, but the time chamber is sealed, so you couldn't do that. You have to seal it. Mm-hmm. You have to unseal it. So you can't make them do both of those things. Um, and yeah, it just goes on. There's you know, a couple other things explaining how one, two, three, for this. All the FAQ is based on my walks, basically. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of what's going on with this game. Uh, artwork is cool. Uh, I talked about the different types of graphic design. I'd like to say I think the graphic design is kind of just okay. Um, I would prefer if this was all full art and just even just a light amount of text, you know, or even just mm-hmm. like um, symbols makes it you yeah. know, simple. Because uh, they're probably pretty simple. Have I have like two cards here? Yep. And then show them okay. revealed, mm-hmm. and that's it. That's all you need. First player marker. It should just be uh, whatever the first the, player. The, the, art, the art of the first player. Wow. Which is actually right That's there. The same art. <laughs> so yeah, you just have you just write even like first player on there. Well, not that, but something like that, and so on and so forth. I think because the artwork is what really um, shines in the game. And I think um, if with more art is just cooler. Like these are really small pieces of art. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, they're even smaller than Magic Gathering cards. I want them even bigger. But looks good. Looks fun. Um, 
if you don't mind uh, yelling at each other and getting angry yeah. and getting crazy and all you that kind of stuff, that then it's going to be fun. social deduction party game, yeah. yeah. You guys are wild. I was quiet over here. <laughs> if you see me playing <laughs> Resistance, uh, it gets yeah. worse. Yeah. Especially because she's so <laughs> actual Evil. sweet and innocent, <laughs> and then she like... All of a sudden, it's just like, why did she make the terrible move when she's been so good? Because I should she's have, evil. I should have stayed at the sanctuary for round four. I didn't realize mm-hmm. that it said round five at yeah, the time. Yeah, it says round five. I should have stayed. This, <laughs> this is the thing that saved us. This and yeah. my ability to stole, stole your card, card to swap. Mm-hmm. Like I could have even done this on my turn if I had two more mana. Or one mana. To go, so I, I can use the pay two mana to move from my location to the, uh, that location. Oh. But I didn't have enough cards in hand to yep. do so. Thank you guys for watching. Join us live every Sunday, 6.30 p.m. here on Facebook. And if you're watching on YouTube and you made it all the way to the end, please give this video a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, more reviews and other types of uh, board game content. And visit us on unfilteredgamer.com where you can see some blog reviews and giveaways on the main site. Uh, mm-hmm. that's, that's it. Check right. out these games on Kickstarter. The links will be down below. Did you subscribe? Did they push the subscribe button? I hope so. And I mean, the notification bell button? <laughs> oh, you yeah, gotta do that. You gotta <laughs> do that. And if you don't do that, you're gonna break my little heart. It's a beauty mark. <laughs> Is it there? Oh, I thought you brought... Right there! I was afraid you brought out the (laughs) Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And as always, I look forward to seeing you guys guys next time. time. Next time! Yay!